Hey YouTube, it's Caroline. Today I want to talk to you guys about my hair. A few months ago, I made the decision that I really, really wanted to ombre my hair for summer. Now, it took me about a month to actually gain the courage to call the salon to make the appointment. And then once I did, they told me it would be about a month wait till they could actually fit me in for an appointment. So now it's right up to the night before my appointment, and I am so excited. I literally could not wait to make this video. So basically what ombre hair is, if you guys don't know, is a gradual fade in color. So for me, it would start with my natural medium brown and then fade into more golden tones, and the bottom would end up being almost blonde. Um, I actually kind of bought, I bought this dress the other day, and it's, the perfect example of what ombre is if you don't already know. See this dress? The top of it is going to be navy fading into light blue and then this very, very, very light blue towards the bottom. So, that's kind of an idea of what my hair would be like, but not, not blue. <laughs> um, Alright, now, in the last month since I made the appointment, I decided that I would try the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder products. I went to go buy the shampoo, 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 conditioner, and lightening spray, but they were out of the shampoo and the spray, so I just got the conditioner. Now, um, I am not blonde. I've never been blonde, so I'm definitely not going blonder. I'm going um, lighter. So, um, I tried the product for the first two weeks. I didn't really see any results, and I was kind of disappointed. But then somewhere in the second to third week, it was like, bam, color, dimension, golden highlights. Like, I mean, just like, it just happened. Like, one day out of the shower, I blow dried my hair, and it was just, I was like, where does this color come from? But I have to let you know, I seriously love it. And even just as a conditioner, had it have never changed my hair color, I'd probably still use it. It just makes my hair feel so, so, like, soft and smooth in the shower. I've honestly never had my hair feel so soft and smooth because of a conditioner. I've used, like, oil treatments and things like that that changed it, but not just a conditioner. So, definitely five stars, in my opinion, on that conditioner. Um, so, yeah, I feel like my hairdresser is going to be so proud that I, like, did my homework to get blonder hair. But, um, this is the part where I really need your opinion. Now, I could do the ombre, which is the fade, or I could just do a like, kind of golden tip. And I feel like ombre is maybe really, really trendy right now, where the tip is more summery and just fun and easy. Both are really low maintenance. Um, I think both would look good, and I would like both. But uh, I really, I don't know, I just want your opinion, um, just looking at my hair, and I don't know, what do you guys think would be better, ombre or gold tip? Um, uh, I don't know, but basically the appointment is tomorrow, so right when I get the appointment, or get out of the appointment, I'm definitely going to be tweeting about it, I can already tell you that, and then um, probably later in the day when I get a minute, I'll film a video just to show you guys. Um, and then tell you how the appointment went. And hopefully I won't be in, like, tears and upset and, you know, my hair is orange or anything. But, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will definitely see you tomorrow.